So here we are, a few hours later. The wife and the kid are sleeping. The wife and the kid are sleeping. So initially we were told that Drew Brees just had some cartilage damage. But do you remember what I said when I saw that clip? I thought he'd broken a rib or two. Well, it turns out he's broken multiple ribs, happening over the last couple of weeks, first against the Buccaneers, and now the Niners, and he has a collapsed lung. In medical terms, we call that a pneumothorax. Now, it's not the type of tension pneumothorax that you guys may have remembered seeing in that movie, The Three Kings, with Ice Cube and, uh, what's his name, Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Not that kind. That's the kind where you have an open wound in your chest, sucking in air. You have to stick that needle inside there, like that. Hey, we made the right choice today. Can you breathe? It's not that kind. That's the kind you get when you have a hole in your chest and you're sucking in air and it prevents the lung from inflating all the way. That's life-threatening. He has a pneumothorax that's likely happening because he's not opening up his lungs all the way because he's splinting because of the pain from the rib fractures. Also, because from the blunt trauma of those hits. Anyway, I'm going to stick with my original prediction that he's probably out for six weeks, back for the playoffs. But it does beg the question, why was there a delay? I'll bet some Vegas bookies had to change some numbers before. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oof.